The inter-religious uh, women in politics has recommended that the federal government should provide the foundation upon which a sovereign national religious conference with emphasis on nationality, purity, morality, love, and honesty uh, to enable conflicting religious groups to unite through dialogue for national development. The, the groups made this known at a welcome back meeting to appreciate them is just concluded governorship elections in Edo State. Speaking, the founder, Dr. Phenomena Erio, argued that the interreligious conflicts in Nigeria defy resolution and seem unending because they are interactable conflicts. Normally, interreligious women has come to stay. We are not just politically alone inclined. We are not bind by any party. We are only bind by parties that we believe in their manifesto. Honestly, we know that poverty are so eating into the system in Africa, not just Nigeria, not just a those state. What we stand for really, what we'll be doing from now, is counseling among ourselves, questioning our women to know their needs, their challenges. How do we meet it? We have also set up a plan to this meeting is part of what we're doing to you know put them into schemes like the farmer women, the market women, the artisans who want training. We're going to pattern them today. Then taking it forward, some of we women are very able financially and otherwise. We're also looking at where we can visit other women that are very, very, very less privileged, like in the IDP centers and motherless home. That's what a mother should be concerned about. Others at the event admitted that Nigeria is synonymous with deep divisions that has caused major political issues to be vigorously and violently contested along the lines of inter integrate ethnic, religious, and of course, regional divisions. Whether Muslim, Christian, or traditional even traditional worshiper, worshiper, don't be tired. That's why when I enter just now, I sing that song. Yes. Don't be tired yeah, in praying. Don't be tired in your work. Oh. Don't be tired in praying. We don't know when the victory will come, yes. but we surely know that the victory will come. Amen. It does, it's a group that is made up of uh, the Christians and the Muslims and, uh, traditional. and traditional worshippers. And that really shows the name it are religious. And our next step is to forge ahead plans that we can use in assisting the women, most especially the less privileged among the women. You yes, oh know this is just we are still believing and trusting God that there's nothing God cannot do. We are here to empower women who partner with different uh, NGOs to see to the progress and welfare of women in Edo State. So after the politics, we are strategizing. We even work with any government that is ready to help 